Hola YouTube, it's Kim, HCG Mamacita, checking in really quickly today. It has been a doozy of a day. I'm so tired and just, it's been a little stressful, but I won't bore you with those details. Let me just give you my stats. Um, I weighed this morning back at 146.0, so I released 0.8 from yesterday. Um, I had like a 0.6 the day before, a 0.2 um, gains I'm speaking of the day before that so now I'm back down to 146 even which is where I was on Sunday again I'm not really sure why those uh, weight fluctuations or gains but um, I'm glad that it's gone um, I did get more water in today I'm gonna try to get a little bit more in before I retire this evening um, and Let's see. Yeah, I won't bore you with what I eat. Ate because I ate the same thing I normally ate. Chicken, fish, asparagus, spinach, you know, P2 stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's all I really have to report. I did um, have to mix a new batch um, of HCG last night because I was basically at the end of my first vial. Um, I had a very teeny tiny bit left in that one and I added it to the new one. I'm not sure if I was supposed to do that or not, but I didn't want any of it to go to waste. So um, I was thinking that maybe, um, and I don't know, again, this is me doing my random thinking, but um, if maybe because I was toward the very, very end of the vial that um, the concentration of HCG wasn't as high as it had been with the full one. Um, oh, and I say that only because today, I didn't really have the hunger that I had been experiencing the past couple of days and the stuff that I was craving I knew that they were cravings because it was just stress it was just stress wanting me to want you know pizza and cookies and plantains and stuff but um, I, I could I knew what it was I knew that I was stressed I knew that I was under a lot of pressure today at work and um, you know, so I knew what it was, but I didn't actually feel hungry. Like, in fact, I had to, at dinner, make myself say, okay, go ahead and have a little bit of this chicken and a little bit of this spinach. So anyway, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Um, looking forward to getting down, as I know we all are. Sometimes I ask myself, why in the heck did I do this over the holiday season? I mean, there's stuff every friggin' where, and... Um, Fortunately or unfortunately, I guess, I had a, several holiday parties um, and functions and activities to go to for this past weekend, but we had the ice storm thing. So they're postponed, but the weekend is coming again. And um, I've got to be strong. Anyway, um, thank you guys again, all of you all who continue to watch my vlogs and comment. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I did watch a vlog today and I watched it on my phone so I was not able to comment but it was Andy, Mr. Freckles, so I really want to express sympathy for the loss of your friend. Um, I lost a couple of friends actually this year, one very unexpectedly, um, but at the same time expectedly, not expectedly but I felt what you were saying about, you know, we all make choices and there are consequences to those choices and, you know, I can only imagine what you're going through right now. But what I say is, um, what do they say? People come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. So maybe she wasn't there for you the entire lifetime. But I know you already mentioned some reasons. And definitely, you know, the season, you'll reflect on it and, and get some, um, some insight as to the impact that, you know, she had on your life. And what you might even have learned from, from her. Not just the uh, mosaics and stuff like that, but you know, what she may have learned from some of her challenges and how uh, there are better ways, I'll just say, higher level, without me getting too deep things, um, and ways for us to handle our challenges. Eating would not be one of them. But anyway, we all know that or we wouldn't be here, right? Anyway, I didn't mean to just, you know, target you at all, um, Andy, but I, I did watch your vlog and I did want to comment and I don't know if I'll have time to go back and comment. Uh, in the written form, so I figured I'd just give you a shout out here. So again, thanks to all of you all. Um, I'm going to shut it down, I think, here tonight because I need to end this day. <laughs> and I will try my best to check in with you guys tomorrow. Take care, PB&J.